Ladies and gentlemen, we are getting ready to set sail on the very first Disney cruise to leave the United States since 2020, and we're inviting you to come aboard with us. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot believe I am saying this, but it is finally embarkation day for the very first Disney cruise to set sail from the United States since 2020. I am beyond excited to be heading out there, guys. We have everything packed up. We live in Tampa, by the way, so it's gonna be a very short drive for us, about two hours or so. Let's not waste any more time. Let's head out over to the port. All packed up, ready to go. I guess we're a little early. <laughs> yeah. um, they've got a new process now because of COVID. Mm -hmm. So they're opening up at 1245. We'll be going through a health assessment before you call. Okay. So if you come back, if you want to go back over the drawbridge, there's restaurants there. Okay. There's coffee or something. If you just want to wait, there's a parking lot over here. Okay. Other than that, we really appreciate it. No problem. I'll go to that parking lot over there. Alrighty, so it's just going on 12 o'clock right now. So we got about a 45 minute wait. I think our port arrival time's at one. So we'll see if we can get in just a little bit early just to get the ball rolling with everything. Not entirely sure how strictly they're gonna be enforcing it once we get closer to 1245. We'll see. Uh, take a look at that. Here's our first Disney Cruise Line bus full of guests arriving. All right, so it's 1250. The parking garage opens at 1245. So we gave it a couple minutes. We're seeing a lot more cars heading on in let's uh let's see what we can do our port arrival time is 1 15 so we'll see how early we can get in for you guys hello one o'clock mm -hmm. right. thank you all right so we managed to get in now time to drop off our bags so i give you for your car this one that you can go check in okay okay all right thank you so much all right so we just dropped off our bags that was a really quick and easy process we got there they pulled our bags out of the car they tagged them up for us and I gave them a little tip which is always appreciated just give them a tip guys they work really hard to give them a tip and they really need it after the year that they had so they had a Disney Cruise representative come over and verify our port arrival time and we are close enough to our port arrival time that they put a little green tag on our car just to let the people in the parking lot know that we are cleared to park and to move on with the process so let's head on over and park this is like test track like old school test track. Yeah, avoid the cones, the bumpy things. Hello. Hello. I need everyone in the vehicle to wear a mask. Okay. And then I'll have you head up this way. And who's ever flagging you down, you can pull in their area. Thank you very much. What's everyone doing today? Doing well, it's only two of us. All right. You have a room number or a QR code? Uh, yep. Okay. Adrian, I'm going to start with you if I can just see your face for just a moment. I check in Dakota. Same thing. Right. Pull out here. Head on down. You get to inspire folks. They're going to stop and talk to you again. Okay. All right. Enjoy the food, Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> Telling us to go to number three. Thank you. <laughs> like, why do I feel like we're the first ones? Well, there's a lot of people. Hello. Can I see your guys' QR code or registration number? Yes. 
For the cruise or safe passage? Um, either. Either? Here's the safe passage one. For Dakota? Number of guests two. Looks like everyone's good. So the gold ticket, it's going to go on the front of your car. And then once you guys follow this lane, lane two to the end, somebody okay. will take it off the car for okay. you and show you where to park upstairs. Okay, thank you. Yeah, wonderful. Have a great trip, guys. Thank you. Hello. When I get this, this keep to the right. Okay, keep to the right. Thank you. And yep, that's where they split off and do the COVID testing. Behind you. Oh my. That's a no for me, thank you. You keep your stabby stabs over there. That is awesome. <laughs> These are all testing. Wow. All right, that was a very quick and easy process. As long as you have all your documents, you should have no problem at all. Let's head on over. Welcome, how are you? Hello, doing well, how are you? Great, are you QR coach? Yep. I have Adrian and Dakota. Yep. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Right on down into the terminal. Thank you very Thank much. You. Have fun. Thank you. I honestly can't believe that this is happening right now. I haven't been on a Disney cruise since 2012. It's almost been 10 years, and this is Coda's first ever. So we are fully vaccinated, so we did not have to do any additional screening. We did not have to take an additional COVID test or anything. So I assume that after you park or after you go through that initial process at the bottom level, then you split off and you go to some of these white tents that they have back here. They have a bunch of white tents back there. And I assume that's where you go and actually get yourself tested. I cannot believe this is actually happening. <laughs> I'm so freaking excited. Oh my God, it has been far, far too long. Oh my God, this place is beautiful. Thank God I am gold and we were able to get here as early as we were able to. It is really empty right now. I absolutely love it. There's only a handful of people in here. I'm sure it's gonna get more and more crowded, but they did say that we're gonna start boarding at about 1.45. So in the meantime, we're gonna chill out, hang out, maybe take a couple pictures, and then get ready for boarding. So something else that's really awesome, we start boarding at 1.45, and all the TV monitors over here are saying that the staterooms will be available at two. So pretty much as soon as we get on the ship, we can go right to our room. That's amazing. It's been so long that I, you know, forget how large this ship is. Oh dear, this is amazing. And then look at that, right next door we got the Disney Fantasy, the sister ship, and the twin of the Disney Dream. May we have your attention please? On behalf of the cast and crew of Disney Cruise Line, please join us in welcoming our family of the day. It will help us begin the boarding process. From Upper Arlington, Ohio, please welcome aboard the Shelton family. Clap, 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 clap. Disney Cruise Line would like to invite all guests in boarding group one to please proceed to the boarding area. Please be prepared to present a boarding pass for each member of your party. Guests in other boarding groups are kindly asked to remain seated or continue to enjoy the cruise terminal until your boarding group number has been announced. Please. Disney Cruise Line would like to invite all guests in boarding groups one through five. It's to time. To the <laughs> Let's go. Area. So you can see, in case the line does back up, plenty of social distancing markers with gaps in between the switchbacks. It has been 10 years almost since I have walked under these arches, and I am very happy to say that I am walking under them once again, and this time with a very beautiful woman. <laughs> oh my god, it's happening, it's happening! Hi guys, how's it going? Hello. Hello. What's your last name? Um, can we be introduced as Adrian and Dakota? Yeah! Oh. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> Mouse. Okay, now everyone. Now Mickey and Minnie insisted on joining me here today 
may be the first to welcome you aboard the beautiful Disney Dream. We've missed you, and we can't tell you how excited it is to see our stunning age of filled with families again. Families who are about to make lifelong memories together. Now, our shipboard family has been working tirelessly to ensure that every little detail is taken care of so that you can experience the magic that is Disney. So I think it's time to let the fun begin. Captains, take it away! God, you guys can't really see it, but I'm crying. I, I started crying. <laughs> it's so freaking long. All right, so first things first, we gotta get the mustard drill done. So we're going to number N, or number N, look yes. at me. <laughs> we're going to N, so heading on outside, and he said, further on down here. Oh my gosh, when are we ever gonna see the decks this empty again? Normally, they're all full of people. And then we have, you can see social distancing markers spread out around the decks. We have chairs separated into little groups. Cruise itinerary, 10% off each cruise. There we go, mandatory drill. There you go, you click get started. All right, and begin as now. As both in one party, one app is perfect enough. Continue, <laughs> confirm, <laughs> check in. Oh, yeah. of course. Access the camera. You, got it. you found your station, you can scan the sign right here. Ninety six, okay. December twenty sixth. Okay. Check mark. Well done. And you should get a check mark on your app as well. Yep. And it says check in complete. You are both so ready to start sailing. Excellent. So ready to go on in, enjoy, explore, <laughs> have your best time. Ever. Right. Thank you so much. We appreciate so it. Have a wonderful trip. Thank you. And yep, just as I planned it, our muscle station was right above Animator's Palette, so why not have lunch here? Are we the first one? I think we're the first ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, how awesome is that? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> welcome as the first one. All right, excellent. First guest in your Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we just sat down and we already have a QR code over here. Let's go ahead and scan. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the lunch menu. Sliced salmon, beef empanadas, spring or mixed salad. We got chicken and gumbo soup, leek and potato soup, uh, panette pasta, grilled salmon salad, um, mufleta sandwich, <laughs> chicken Caesar salad, uh, sirloin, and then we have dessert cookies and cream cheesecake, carrot cake, and the welcome aboard Sunday. Oh my gosh, and here's a quick look at the kids menu in case you guys are interested. First things first, some bread. Anyone else feel really bad when they get all the bread crummies all over the table? <laughs> like there's, 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 there's really no helping it, but I just, I feel bad. And it looks like Coda and I, we both got the beef empanada to start. <laughs> Great minds think alike, I didn't even realize she ordered that. All right, next up I got the leek and potato soup. It comes with some bread rolls, and babe, what did you get? The gumbo. The gumbo, okay. Oh, my sweet baby Jesus, I got the sirloin. And it, it's so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like a little medallion, clearly. Like yeah, I know, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. And then look at Coda trying to be all healthy the very first day on the cruise. I'm getting two desserts. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting two desserts, all right. So that cancels it out, okay, in all fairness. But oh, this smells so good. I am home. I'm gonna be eating meat all week. And our desserts have arrived. I got the Oreo cheesecake, and then Coda got the Welcome Aboard Sunday. That actually looks pretty good. There's a little bit too much caramel for my taste, but you know, I'm sure Coda's gonna enjoy the heck out of it. <laughs> oh, I forgot how long this hallway is. <laughs> okay, so here's the dilemma that we're having. Coda and I, it's, it's going on 3.30 right now, and uh, Coda and I, you know, partway through our meal, we realized that we have early seating. So, um, our dinner's at 6 o'clock, 
and it's going on 3.30 right now. We eat so much and we're already feeling so full. I don't know how we're gonna get through dinner. Mistakes were made. We figured that, you know, we would avoid the crowds and not go to the buffet first like everybody and their grandmothers is gonna do. But uh, we probably should have went to the buffet. That way we can portion out our meal. Either that or just ate less. But either way, I'm excited to walk around and explore the rest of the ship. And now begins the very long walk to our stateroom. All right, finally made it, 8644. Our room keys are right over here on the door. Let's go ahead and head on inside. Coda, do you want to do the honors? <laughs> Without hesitation. Yep, it's, it's like the amazing race. <laughs> it's me. You gotta, you gotta push. No, oh, there you go. Less effort. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are inside our deluxe family ocean view stateroom. You can see we have our Castaway Club gold member reward bag with a lanyard for moi. Thank you very much. With a couple Castaway Club luggage tags as well. And they left this on the bed. This is like our like abandoned ship procedures. So hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully we won't need to use that. Plenty of room for activities over here. This of course pulls out into a bed. There's another bed up here, which we're gonna ask the room host to pull this down into the bunk bed, just in case Coda wants to ditch me and uh, and uh, have her own little party. There also is a Murphy bed over here and pulls out. I think it's called Murphy bed, but either way, you can fit a lot of people in this room. And you can see Coda already acquainted herself with the Hi. balcony. So I'm surprised. This door's childproof. How did you manage to? It's already unlocked. <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> Ow! Hi, Fudge! Did you pinch yourself? <laughs> now I pinched myself. Pinch okay, yeah, be careful of that. Ow, that actually really hurt. So Coda and I are trying to figure out the lock situation, and uh, there's a sign right here lock, unlock. So now it is locked. So in theory, this should not open. Let me not pinch myself this time. Aha! Now it cannot open. We got some cups over here and some more storage space. Nice mirror, hello. We got our outlets and other lights over here. And our mini fridge is on this side, there you go. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the bathrooms. We have our split bathrooms that you see on all the Disney ships. Be sure to watch your step, very, very important. We have a nice stand-up shower. Plenty of room for activities in here. It's got a little place to sit down. Awesome, and it's got a rainfall shower head, what? Okay, I'm digging this. I'm digging this. We got other towels and stuff over here, our H2O products with a sink, some more towels, towels. And coming on into the other bathroom, and this is where we have the toilet. Just in here by itself <laughs> with a sink. So two people can get ready at the same time. And in here we have our life jackets in case we ever decide to pull a Titanic. We have a bunch of hangers in here, a laundry bag. We have our laundry service list. So we can take a look at that and get a quick look at the prices in case you guys are curious. Safe down here. Some more storage space for like your shoes and stuff. Close that. And we have some more life jackets in here for children more hangers. We have the ladder over here for the bunk bed. And I mean, honestly, that's pretty much it. They just have a nice divider curtain over here in case you're coming with your kids and you want to have some nice private time. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited. Alrighty, let's take a quick look outside on the balcony. Not a whole lot of room for activities over here. I mean, if we move the chairs around, we got plenty of room, but wow. This is, this is really nice. I'm enjoying this. And worst case scenario, we can always jump to our lifeboat right here. But yeah, you can see we are definitely leaning more towards the butt end of the ship. We got cabanas right up there. So yeah, I mean, technically we're midship. You know, when we, when we purchased this room, it said midship, but we're definitely leaning more towards the butt. Either way, not complaining. We got a nice view. And when we pull in the Castaway Key, the islands will be right here waiting for us in the morning. And I didn't even notice this. It says, welcome aboard Vasquez and La Palm party. I love it. All right, so we're just getting ourselves comfortable in the room. We just met our room host, Sanaa. 
really, really nice guy. Oh my gosh, he is so adorable. I love him already. And he immediately brought up our cases. He made sure to go and look for them. So he brought them up. It's about, what is it? We're going on four o'clock right now? Yeah, it's going, it's going on four o'clock right now and we already have our suitcases. So that is really, really good to see. That way, if we want to change, we can. All right, guys, now is the time for one of my favorite parts of taking a Disney cruise putting up our door magnets. Let's go ahead and put this up. This also gives us the perfect opportunity to talk about today's video sponsor. Thank you so much to Magical Day Creations for sponsoring today's video. Guys, decorating your stateroom door is a very huge part of the whole Disney Cruise Line experience and Magical Day Creations was kind enough to send us out a few customized magnets to hang up on our door. Take a look at these guys. We have our names on some crew member name tags. We have a pumpkin, we have an anchor, and they were even kind enough to make a custom baby Yoda magnet. Everyone who's watched the channel for a while knows that Coda loves her baby Yoda and she absolutely fell in love with this magnet. If you guys are looking to customize your Disney Cruise Line vacation or your Disney World vacation, then head on over to MagicalDayCreations.com and use code TPX10 at checkout to get 10% off your entire order. Not only can you customize your magnets for your room door, but you can also get several 3D printed items, including this awesome 3D printed soap dispenser so that your soap can be in the shape of Mickey and some custom Magic Band decals. Thank you once again to MagicalDayCreations.com for sponsoring today's video. Once again, use code TPX10 at checkout to get 10% off your entire order. <laughs> All right, and now time for some of my favorite magnets. Because he made them. I made these myself, look at this. My cruise logo. We also got, what is this? my channel logo as well. We gotta let people know that we're here. If you guys wanna be a part of our next Disney Cruise Line series, uh, send us some magnets. P.O. Box link down in the description below. You guys can send us some of your magnets and we'll include them on our door. And here is a look at our door. We love to see it. I love it all. You guys can guess which ones I made myself, the ones with these backgrounds that are looking rather flimsy. I made these yesterday, but I'm still pretty proud of them. And then these awesome ones were sent to us by Magical Day Creations, the amazing sponsor of today's video. If you guys are looking for higher quality magnets, these people are definitely the ones to go to. I love their magnets, they're so good. And we had folks send us these magnets at our P.O. Box. Is this a magnet that we can keep? <gasps> Yee! Commitment to cleanliness. Hey, I think I'm gonna keep it. I think I'm gonna keep it. Well, a very pleasant good afternoon, Disney Dream. It's your cruise director, Jimmy, speaking. And on behalf of Captain Daniele and the entire Disney Cruise Line team, it is an absolute honor and pleasure to welcome you back on board the elegant Disney Dream. It is a very special moment to be able to welcome you all back on board. A reminder, for the health and well-being of all on board, facial coverings are required indoors for everyone ages two and up, except when dining or in your stateroom. You may temporarily remove them while actively eating and drinking, but you must be stationary and physically distanced six feet from other traveling parties. Also, please remember to maintain physical distancing while navigating the ship, and we thank you in advance for your understanding. A highlight of this evening, of course, is our award-winning show, Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Now, due to seating traveling, traveling parties physically distanced from others within the theater, our capacity is limited, so we highly recommend that you arrive early for showtime. But most importantly, remember, you are officially on vacation. Woohoo! <laughs> and we are officially back. Yes. Once again, on behalf of Captain Daniele and the entire team, welcome aboard. Have an amazing cruise. All right, we're just going to take a casual walk through the buffet. Look, baby Nemo. There's <laughs> more Nemo. But yeah, just casually walking through the buffet. Not entirely sure if I should be walking around this way, but it is totally fine. Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard, guys. How's it going? Good, thanks, how are you? <laughs> Doing well. Coda is upset with the little kitty play area. I'm sure you'll get a chance to go in there at some point soon. <laughs> so here's a look at the drink station. So it says, please wait here behind the line. And you go up and you tell them exactly what you want and they get it for you. Are you brave enough to go over it? Why not? Here we go. Oh, that's a no what? for me. It's perfectly fine. 
<laughs> if it can support my fat butt, you can support you. Ah, uh, the special jacuzzis are closed. They have holes in the floor too. Oh um, my. <laughs> That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh no, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna cry. Yes, you got a couple more in ya. I know you do. Oh my, don't Oh, that's what's... They're doing a horn battle. We gotta go upstairs. Oh my god, they're having a horn battle. The fantasy's leaving. I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh, guys, take a look. The fantasy is setting sail. And look at all the crew members on deck. On deck four. And on top, just waving us goodbye. Uh, some of them are wearing Mickey gloves. Look at that. How cute. This is incredible. I never thought that I would get to experience something like this. Being on the Disney Dream, waving goodbye to the Disney Fantasy, the sister ship right next door. So we just got done playing a round of little mini golf over here. And we see that the uh, basketball court has been converted into a lounge area. All right, you guys are in the vlog. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Team Hype, Lisa N, Beansy. Hello, everyone. Say hi to the vlog. Hello, vlog. Hamilton Crocs, Jamil Williams, Andrew Whitmer, Cool Daddy, Mabry Ann, uh, Dirty Dan, Mike Side, Park Twister, Scorpio or something. I'm sorry. Caprice, hello. Hello, everybody. Say hi to the vlog. You guys are gonna be seeing this on Friday whenever we get back home. We have a lot of people in here. Look at that, look at that. Just, this is for the vlog. 227 people in my live stream right now from the Disney Dream. How incredible is this? <laughs> There's so many people saying hi. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Let's see, uh, shout out a couple people more. Out Wooderson, hello. Uh, Dirty Dan, can we get 200 likes? That would be incredible. Hey, look at that. Uh, Janice and Randy with the $5 super chat. Thank you so much. We appreciate that, guys. Hold up. The camera's not focusing anymore. Ah! I'm trying to get all you guys. Sarah Reynolds, hello from the UK. Kelly, hello. Erwin Geek Opera, how's it going? Amanda Owens, I think I already said that. Uh, Stephanie Kyle, what time is Sail Away? We don't exactly know. <laughs> we don't exactly know. We're thinking it's at like 6.30 or 7 o'clock. All right, guys, we just got done with our live stream and that was absolutely insane. We had almost 200 and 50 people in that live stream. That was nuts. Thank you guys so much for all the incredible support. That was a new stream record. Never had that many people in a live stream at one time supporting me. And you guys broke 200 likes. That was absolutely insane. Now we are on the midship elevator. We're getting ready to head down to oh, our oh, dinner. Oh, what floor did you push? I didn't push any. Oh my God, babe. <laughs> we're going to deck three. <laughs> But yeah, we're on the midship elevator, heading on down. Uh-oh, we're stopping at seven. I'm so sorry, we fool. <laughs> it's one party per elevator. I'm so bad, I'm so sorry. Hey. But yeah, um, this is our midship elevator ride down to deck three for our dinner at Royal Wait, Palace. Mickey! Wait, are they still doing it? Uh, Close the door. <laughs> yep, we are still docked. We're not going anywhere anytime soon. So as long as those doors are open, we're not going anywhere anytime soon. Take a look at Mickey and Minnie. They're so adorable. Oh my gosh. And this is the main atrium. This is incredible. Hello. 
we're just on our way to have dinner. We got Sailor Donald. That is incredible. Hi guys. <laughs> we missed you. We missed you. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you guys so much. We're going to go have dinner now. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Oh, that was adorable. I love it. Uh, but now it is time to eat. I love that they make you sanitize. Are you biting that thing through your mask? <laughs> I didn't know that was possible. As I was saying, I love that they make you sanitize before you walk inside a restaurant. <laughs> oh, this restaurant is so beautiful. Eighty-two. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We can sit wherever we want. I love it. Look at that. A nice window seat over here. We'll be able to see when we cast off. Yay! I love that we have this table all to ourselves. Like we have a nice big table. Nugget has his own seat. <laughs> he gets to be a part of everything. So like we can, in theory, order everything on the menu and have plenty of room for it. So I definitely appreciate that. And. Look at our napkin. <laughs> Just like at uh, Animator's Palace, a little tuxedo, I love it. All right, so here is the menu at, uh, what is it, Royal Palace, duck confit, ice lobster and jumbo shrimp, the escargot, which I'm definitely gonna be getting, as well as we're gonna try the deep fried brie. I heard that was really good. We also got French onion soup, uh, potage, uh, whatever, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. Farmhouse salad, uh, boss pear salad. We got the bread service. Main course, we have um, something pasta, baked salmon royale, crispy roast duck breast, rack of lamb, and um, roasted filet steak. <laughs> Here's also your vegetarian options as well. You guys can pause the video and your lighter note offerings with specialty coffees. Already our appetizers have arrived. I got the escargot. This is something that I have to get every single cruise. I absolutely love it. Judge me all you want. This is good. And then Coda, we got the deep fried brie. I am very excited to try that. And Coda, are you going to be trying some escargot? No. No? Why not? No. Why not? No. What if I give you 10 bucks? I paid for your cruise and you can't even try a snail for me? Rude. And as a secondary, what did you get? The lobster and jumbo shrimp? Yeah. That looks good. And now as a secondary appetizer, I got the French onion soup. I can't wait. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. They bought another escargot. <laughs> I did say keep it coming because I really do like it. So I'm definitely going to have that. <laughs> Already our main courses have arrived. Just because I couldn't decide what to get, I decided to get um, two things. I got the rack of lamb and I also got the, uh, what is it, the beef. And then Coda got the, what kind of pasta? Pasta with the lobster. Pasta with lobster. <laughs> that is the coolest little thing. It's nice, no? <laughs> yeah, it's so easy. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we're almost done with dinner, but we're still here. We're still here at Port Canaveral, by the way. We haven't moved at all. And I'm, you know, scrolling through Twitter trying to, you know, see what everyone else is saying. Supposedly at like 7 o'clock, 2 Disney buses pulled up with guests trying to get on? I don't know. But yeah, that's that's very interesting. So we'll see how late we actually leave. All right, so I've watched a bunch of other Disney Cruise vlogs before. So I've seen them do this. This is what they do. They plop, 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 plop. They bust a hole in the center. All the way down to the bottom. And then they take this, this nonsense. And then they go... Yes, look at that. Oh no. But yeah, that's what they do. Let me know down in the comment section below if I did it correctly. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Oh dear, that just made it so much worse. I don't know what else I expected. Oh, my days at dinner was so flipping good. What? No, it's from Mother Bear. Thank you. It took you long enough. I was trying to get Coda to guess what song was playing on the piano. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, God, this restaurant's so nice. It's, it's a shame we only get one night here, but either way, so really nice. All the more reason to return. Well, we were trying to leave, but um, royalty is blocking our path. We got Tiana, Rapunzel, and Jasmine over there. <laughs> so um, I think we're going to use the other exit. <laughs> hmm. 
Let's take a look. We got a crab. <laughs> and we got chocolates. Well, that answers that question. Uh, people were asking if we were going to get chocolates. And yep, sure enough. We got it. All right, so we're back in the room relaxing for a little bit. The mustard drill thing is going on, the auditory stuff. But anyways, um, we just had turned down service at our room. And I just want to show you guys the Disney difference. This is what sets Disney apart. The little details like this. We got back to the room. First of all, we had a bunch of crap on the bed. He took it all and organized it. He put our big bag underneath the bed over here, made the bed and made that. Um, he organized our stuff over here. And we had a bunch of like cords and stuff all over the table over here. Take a look at this. This man came in and wrapped up all of our cords in little ties, in little black ties, each individual one. Like, Bro, you did not have to do that, but I appreciate you. We just unwrapped that one. But look, like, all of all of it. Bro, I appreciate you. That is the Disney difference. I run this now. Here we go. We're going. Zoom, zoom. Oh, look at me. I am the captain now. <laughs> I think he just a little, a little boat. There's the popo. Oh, look, you can look way out there, and that's the fantasy. Wee! I don't know if it zooms that far. To the left of the pointy building. Code of vlogs. This is why I don't vlog. But the fantasy's way out there, and I'm shaky. So we're doing our little horn thing. You know, it's playing all the different, and this is Jetty Park, I think. Maybe not. Um, but there are all these people waiting and waving at the ship as it's leaving, cheering us on. Hi, people. I still can't read it. These are even a sign, a bigger sign. Sorry, I should probably zoom out. And then we have the Mariner of the Seas, Royal Caribbean. You guys hear it echoing off some of the buildings. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of people at that restaurant. Hi, I'll wave. I'm a princess today. That there's a kid. No, nope, that's a fully grown man flashing. Not really flashing. He lifted up a shirt. Also, there's a webcam. If any of you guys are watching, I'm not sure where it is. <laughs> It'll be somewhere. What the heck? I go to take a shower for what, 10 minutes and we're already leaving? Jesus. <laughs> I'm standing there in the shower and all of a sudden I feel like we're like we're vibrating and moving. But yeah, we're leaving. It's about time. What time is it now, babe? 8.07. 8.07. We need to get going. All five people that have waited for us. <laughs> well, these people be fishing. <laughs> they got poles and stuff. Alright, so as I said earlier, I had to take a quick shower and change. Now, we are going to head on downstairs for Beauty and the Beast. We're just in a wee bit of a rush. The theater doors opened 10 minutes ago. So, we're hoping that we can make it into this show. We were a little preoccupied with the whole sailing away stuff. All right, so we are at the theater and we have to queue up and there's someone who brings us into the theater and seats us. So yeah, you can see they have entire rows closed off. It's like every other row. That's very interesting. Wow. A wild cow Apollo has appeared. Check out these projected flame effects on the wall too. That's really cool. I like that.
just got out of the show and I just want to look at this mirror. It is adorable. Oh my God. This is so cute. I want this in my house. I love it. So we just got out of the theater and I really like that for the different photo ops that they have, they have a table next to them so that you can put all your different items there and you can put your face mask so you can take your face mask off for all the pictures and they sanitize it after every guest which is really really good to see i like that they don't have to do it but i appreciate that they do it well unfortunately we're not getting any golden mickey's show on this cruise but you can still purchase a golden mickey's in the gift shop i know it's really out of focus because the lighting but there you go look at that a golden mickey wait a minute it's cinderella and what, what the heck, Ariel's up there too? <laughs> oh my gosh. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, hi Pluto! <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it! And Goofy's up there too! <laughs> Alright, so we took a second to step outside and as you can see, we're hugging the coast right now. So I mean, it makes complete and total sense to hug the coast. There's really no need to go out too, too far. I'm sure by the time we wake up tomorrow, there's, we're not going to see anything. It's just going to be open water. But I just want to point something out, like, you look over the deck, look at the water! There are lights in the water that make it look like the ship is kind of like, you know, like, is glowing? I don't know how to describe it. Moving? Moving? <laughs> Gliding? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. You know you can influence my words. But yeah, I just, this is just really cool. I like this. This is a view that I've been waiting a very, very long time to see. Just coming out at night. Honestly, like, I don't think anything beats a Disney cruise ship out at night. Just the whole aesthetic out here and the lighting. It's just amazing. I love every bit of it. It's my favorite place to be at night, honestly. What do you think? I like being in bed. <laughs> You're just tired. <laughs> You're just tired, poor thing. <laughs> now that nobody's really out here, you guys can get a better look at all the social distancing markers. And I'm sure a lot of these social distancing markers are also for the fireworks that are going to be happening tomorrow night, weather permitting. If we have a night like tonight, tomorrow, then we should have a phenomenal view of the fireworks, which I do believe are going to be shooting off over there in that direction, if I recall correctly. All right, guys, we are back in the room. It is almost midnight. Today has been a very eventful day, embarkation day. I've spent the last 10 years watching Disney Cruise Line vlogs and to be making one of my own is really surreal and so it was very, very nerve wracking. I hope that you guys were entertained thoroughly throughout this whole video and I hope you guys got a lot of information as to what to expect for the restart of cruising if you're sailing anytime in the near future. But today was a very exciting day. It was a lot of fun and we have a lot more to come. So if you enjoyed today's video, then please make sure you're subscribed to the channel and have that notification bell turned on to get notified whenever I upload a new video like this in the future. You guys can expect more Disney Cruise content coming very, very soon. If you enjoyed today's video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and drop a comment down below to let me know what you liked about today's video. Please share the video around with your friends and family if they are planning on taking a Disney Cruise anytime in the near future, so that way they know more or less what to expect. Um, I, as far as why we left so late, supposedly I was looking back on the Facebook groups and supposedly that there were a lot of families that that apparently didn't do enough research or didn't do enough reading or didn't pay attention to the emails that Disney sent and there were a lot of issues as far as children not getting tested the way they needed to prior to getting here so just make sure you read all the information that is being sent your way properly so that way you avoid any and all headaches when arriving because our embarkation process super smooth we didn't stress about anything getting on the ship today and I am so flipping thankful that everything went super smoothly but anyways we're gonna go ahead and go to bed guys thank you again so much for watching today's video once again leave a like if you enjoyed drop a comment down below let me know what you guys thought subscribe if you're new around here ring that bell and get notified whenever we upload a new video like this in the future huge shout out once again to my patreon supporters without you guys this kind of content would not be possible if you guys want to support us on patreon link to that down in the description below i hope you're all having a wonderful day morning afternoon evening and i'll see you guys in the next video.